GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Govi, a vernacular edutech brand, skilling everyone everywhere. We were friends for a bit, then we were not, and then we became friends, and then when we became friends again. There are times when I've gone for a narration, whether where it is, it is 60-40, or the girls almost as equal as the guy, where they have offered it to the guy, and the guy said, swap kar do role. There were a lot of these low moments, especially in Mumbai can be a very, very, you know, you can get lost in the city and because lonely. everybody is just so busy in their own lives. Um, and um, yeah, I didn't have many friends. Kriti, 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 firstly, congratulations on another success uh, so soon. I mean, you have two successful films in theatres simultaneously. That must be a great feeling. And then I just felt this urge to just turn around and hug her. And I just turned and I said, I just want to hug you. You know, and I just hugged her and she held me for like quite long. And we both just felt so emotional. I think that your nature is usko tu change nahi kar sakti shayad if you are getting bullied by someone you don't uh, give it back rapta was supposed to release bareilly was supposed to release i had finished shooting these films uh, for 15 months i didn't shoot anything especially when you don't come from a film background and you don't have that one person supporting you constantly you do feel like you know right now they are slowly just getting to know my name if i'm not visible you know, what if they just don't remember my name? I was at the airport, sometimes uh, people would be like, Are ye Tiger Shroff ki film mein thi. I am someone who always, always, always just feels that uh, she just deserves the best in the world. And uh, she's just like, it's, she's a very rare combination. How do I start by introducing the person that, um, who's going to join us uh, for the Galata India Fans Festival today? Um, I'll just say that she's as beautiful as she's on screen in real life as well. Uh, for many of you who have met her would know that she's real and authentic and that's her biggest, biggest quality because, um, you know, to be a fine artist is rare, but to be a fine artist and a fine human being, rarer still. And now, after Teri Bato Me Aisa Uljha Jia and crew, we can definitely say, and of course Mimi, we can definitely call her Gen Z's Biggest superstar female actor, Kriti Savage! Hello! How are you? How have you You're been? very coordinated with See? me, I. Not this bad. Is, this is called DSDKC. What? They'll say Dilka connection. You have told me Gen Z superstar. It's a good thing. Gen Z term. I don't know. I knew I was going to come to that. How are you feeling? Like I've asked people. People have gone and watched Crew more than once. I have gone and watched it thrice, Kriti. Once in the. You've seen show. it thrice. And I'm going tomorrow again. There were two people outside also who've seen it thrice, which is like an amazing feeling. When you go to one picture and go to the theater, ja ke dekhna ho, that is something else. It doesn't happen with every film. How many of you could relate to Crew Man? See? Cheer, cheer. Sir, I was to say it. But thank you so much. Uh, from the time I have um, taken up the course of joining Galata India, uh, you have been one of my hugest. Uh, strength and support systems and I know that we have discussed this for the longest time and I'm finally happy that we are doing this. Uh, so without waiting anymore, I'm going to ask you to take your seat. You're going to sit, that's it. We have a lot of surprises for you, Kriti. This is not a regular interview. Looking forward to them. And when we planned it, guys, I had told her that after this interview, I'm going to ask you if you really liked it and I've promised her that this is going to be the most special and the best interview that we have done together. Didn't I say that? You I have said that. that. You can tell me honestly. You've you raised it. the bar very high. My expectations are a lot now. But I'm so happy. I am so happy to see the love that you're getting. Uh, people, it's not just the numbers. It's also the kind of response that your films are getting. You know, Teri Bato Mein Asa Uljha Jia. Um, and anything that you do feels like a personal victory. Uh, to a lot of us in the media because you have that bond with a lot of us. Um, how did you take this in, in terms of validation from the audience and the love that is coming? 
Firstly, I have to say you have been one of my biggest cheerleaders, supporters, whatever I can say from the time that I joined the industry. And um, many of the people in the media, many of the journalists actually have seen me grow, you know, from the start. Uh, I am not someone who always knew that I wanted to be an actor. So everything that I've learned has been on the job. And um, I have tried my best to grow with every film. Um, and it's really, really nice to uh, finally be in a space where um, you know that, okay, you have proved yourself as an actor, but more than that, the connect um, and the love that the audiences have given, you know, especially this year has started amazingly well for me, Touchwood. Um, uh, obviously, I loved the script. It was one film that I felt was very unique in the concept. And I love love stories. And I was like, you know, I haven't done a love story. Um, and I hadn't worked with Shahid. And there were so many elements, you know. Of course, the story. Of course, the character. Uh, but I think nowhere I realized while shooting that people would connect to a robot so much. You know, because uh, Sifra is a character, of course, as a robot, she doesn't have emotions, you know, and normally we connect to emotions. And I was like, I never expected the kind of love that poured. Um, and people connecting to Sifra, people loving Sifra as a character, I was like, wow, you know. I mean, I could understand when people loved Mimi because Mimi had a lot of heart. You know, she had so much emotion, the the journey of, you know, a, from being a girl to being a mother. Um, a lot of people connected, a lot of people cried. So I was like, wow, you know, I made people cry. Here I was like, um, comedy usually is not considered uh, or not uh, validated so much as performance somehow, you know. I, weird. And it's so weird. Never usually uh, people get like you know, uh, that kind of validation for, for making people laugh. And trust me, it's a very, very tough job. Uh, so I feel I was not expecting that love. And when it all poured in, I was like, oh my God, this is like, I don't think I've gotten these kind of messages and this kind of response, even for Mimi. And that was shocking for me. Surprising, I would say, because it was a happy shock. Uh, <laughs> now again for crew, um, just the fact of, just the fact that it's a film led by three women, and when I... And what incredible women, guys, <laughs> from three different generations, superstars in their own right, and three people who are absolutely amazing at what they do. You know, we've had those conversations where people, ek to, when you say that comedy is not considered acting, more than that, comedy is not even considered a woman's world. Today, yeah. that has changed because Ekta was telling me that a very uh, prominent filmmaker, she took the name, I'll tell you later, um, told her that, you know, actresses comedy to nahi kar sakti. Okay? And then this movie comes and completely changes the game. How many of you loved the comic timing of these three women? I feel it's the best chemistry that you've had in your 10 years career. I, I say that. How many of you actually feel that? Oh my God. So I agree with what you're saying because uh, most people, and I, it's weird because I think people have forgotten Chalbaz. I think uh, Sri Devi Ma'am was amazing in it. And she was like the Jan of that film. Uh, people have forgotten Juhi Chavla, who used to do amazing comedy. Um, uh, of course, there was Karishma also with Govinda so many times. Yeah, so many films. Um, and uh, Vidya Balan, Kangana, there have been many women who've done comedy over the years. But I feel not too many characters are written for women in this genre and that's sad. Because um, as you can see comedy, women can do comedy, you know. I, I feel how, how amazing was it? Can we have a round of applause for crew guys? But uh, I personally love comedy. I have always loved it. Uh, whether it is Bareli Ki Barfi, whether it is Luka Chuppi, whether it is uh, a little bit of comedy in Mimi that was there in the first half of the film, um, or now Crew, or Teri Baato Mein. Teri Baato Mein climax is full comedy. Absolutely. And there Absolutely. are a lot of other scenes which are like really, really comical. And it is like, that's the genre, you know, at, a, at some point of the film. So uh, I've always felt like I like doing comedy. But even Mimi had a lot of comedy in the first half. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Mimi was in that, 
so all these films have always had comedy and i don't think comedy is supposed to be like haha all the time or you crack a joke comedy is in reactions it is in you know how if i say something how i say something or how you react to that might make my dialogue funny so so i believe that you know comedy is more in situations it's in life you know sometimes in life it's funny i'm glad people are loving comedy and people are going to theaters they want to have a good laugh and it doesn't matter any more that it's a man or a woman uh, as long as the content is good and it's making them laugh that's all they cre- care about so that's amazing and the numbers are proof um, i mean like um, when ekta and i met uh, she came for the holy thing which i was hosting she told me i am expecting the movie to open at 7 crore and 7 crore is amazing and i had told her see i am not a trade pundit I'm she was underplaying i'm yeah. just telling you yeah 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 i am not a trade pundit i'm not a reviewer but i told her there is an audience the trailer the songs choli had released and it it was going crazy all the songs nena choli in fact you know after the, watching the movie i'm obsessed with the sona kitna sona hai song if you guys have not heard it please go hear it and um, then i was like ekta i think it's going to open at 10 minimum and i i don't know why you are saying it um and then uh when it did i messaged her and told her that if you do a 10 crore you are going to do the interview with me <laughs> and when we speak about ekta ab hamare surprises ka pitara khulega So we have a special message for you from the producer of Crew, Ekta Kapoor. Hi, Kriti. I'm so excited for your fan festival episode. I hope you know that we producers also love you and are almost your fans. You've been one of the most prolific young actors I've worked with, and it's great to know that you are one of the most uh, what's it liked and loved actors in the younger lot. So cheers to you enjoy this phase make it an era and uh, best of luck kriti for all your future endeavors and much love to all your fans how sweet yeah that is so sweet not something that i was expecting it's actually a surprise um she is amazing and i love how she is just so powerful um once we met on a flight we were going to tirupati um she's also a big believer and uh, we had a long conversation on the flight on how you know sometimes people don't expect women to do certain things yeah. and how important it is to just break that stereotype because today i feel like there is nothing should be gender specific you know any anyone can do anything if you dream and you believe in yourself and that's what she's done Absolutely. all her career and uh, it's so amazing that she had that belief in crew uh in the film in the three of us in ria um you know and she went all out all guns blazing you know uh, for the film and she had that belief that she she wanted a double digit opening for a female led film and that happened do you see the industry's perspective change towards women in terms of roles and the treatment that is given to them see i honestly believe that everything is dependent on the audiences yeah you know it's a circle it is also dependent on producers makers writers to write certain parts to write certain roles to present a uh, a woman or a female uh, a film led by a female protagonist uh, in the same manner with the same scale as they do when Absolutely. it is a man uh, but they would also be okay taking that risk if the audiences do not differentiate between the man and the woman and come for the co- uh, content come for the film in the theaters at the end of it we are all making films for the audiences so it's a circle and i believe that today crew has done the certain numbers you know um, at the box office in theaters has pulled the audiences i've seen theaters which were f- full like till the second row you know in the front and it just made me so happy because i felt like okay now you know people are really going to take that risk put that pun like donkey ki chot pe put in that money and make that film that is led by a woman on that large scale i think it is a circle and thanks to all of you uh, only when you go to the theaters and uh, give that so much love to these films you know that's when the makers the producers the writers will be willing to also make those films and not care ki ladka hai ki ladki hai but can i tell you something i want to ask you this and be honest without taking names of course um but um, because i know you will not take you are you're a good girl um i am divya rana from yeah. haryana <laughs> i will not take any names but you know when you work with women like for example i'll take a name um arjun kapoor he is actually a very secure actor he like he feels that the industry will only grow when there are more and more multi starers like it used to be 
Back, in, back when we were kids, we used to see so many multi-stars where actors would come, even the male actors. Today, it's difficult to put male actors together because there is an ego clash. But when you, even when a female actor has a very def well-defined scene, suppose in a rom-com or in maybe a, a film which is driven by both the hero and the heroine, Male actors sometimes do tend to have an issue. And I'm pretty sure you've also been through certain situations in life. How did you deal with that then? Like, has it ever been like where you have signed a film and when you go on the set and start shooting, by the end of it, you feel that you've not been validated as an, as an artist? I've honestly not felt it on set ever, fortunately. I, I think uh, everyone who I've worked with and every director who I've worked with, it's not like the film has changed on set. If the film is changing, to favor somebody, that film will never work. True. Because it is always about the content. If you're doing you have content, because you want to show someone else, then your agenda and your intention only is wrong. So that has never happened. Yeah, these things sometimes happen in promotions and all, where, where I face those things. But I also have to say, I've also worked with extremely secure actors, um, many of who have been all in for the scene and that's when the film shines, I feel. You know, whether it is, uh, uh, I mean, whether it's Varun and Bhedia, you know, I think he's such a giving actor, even if it is his back shot, uh, the way he is, sometimes he gives a better take in his back shot. It's really funny and then he's like, oh shit, why did I take my take? You know, so, so that ends up happening, but that's when you know that the person is all in for you also. You know, he's not selfishly doing it only for himself. Um, whether it is Diljeet and Kapil Sharma in this yeah. film, it is amazing. I think there are very men, very few male actors who support a female-led film. support are very few uh, actresses who take a small role kar leti hai when a film is led by a man uh, to add value to the film. But I think it's very rare for men to do that and kudos to them to have done that. Um, even in Teri Baato Mein, I feel, it is a love story, of course. It is a very equal part with me and Shahid. Absolutely. Shahid is my senior. Uh, he's a brilliant actor. Brilliant. But the climax is so dependent on Sifra. It is so led by Sifra. Where Shahid Kapoor, as an actor, not once tried to make anything different. He knew that if this climax doesn't hold, the film doesn't hold. You know, so he was there. Sometimes he was also on set to just see that it all was working right, you know, because he comes with so much of credibility and so much of experience that everything that he says or adds to the scene, adds to the film, adds to the film, makes it better, you know. And for someone to let the girl shine at the end of the film is a big deal. And Absolutely. I love him for that. I have so much respect for him because I think you know, why, like, even I want to do this, even I want to do this, change this now. There are so many times, there are times when I've gone for a narration, whether, where it is, it is 60, 40, or the girls almost as equal as the guy, where they have offered it to the guy, and the guy said, swap kar do role. Agar hum ulta kar de to kya, you know, uh, because they wanted the stronger part and all. So I feel like sometimes, People are Did you do, the, do that film? No, it didn't end up happening because it just got into this complication. It's very, as I said, it's not very, uh, uh, it's very rare to see what we call the A-list men uh, to come and support a film that is heavier on the woman. But it that's only happen. this generation. Today, you know, there's a Shah Rukh Khan doing a Dear Zindagi. There's an Ajay Devgan doing a Gangubai. See, there are many people, even in this generation, there are who people are who it. will yeah. do it. Yeah. You know, who will do it. But I'm also saying there is also a section, a larger section, that doesn't, you know. And um, to each his own, I don't judge that. But I just hope, like how in Hollywood, I feel like, you know, actors just come out and do like a small. solid small part, you know, make an impact and they add value to the film and they do it for the film and they just go. I, I hope it happens here. You know, before I go to the next question, this was supposed to be planned for later, but um, because you spoke about secure actors and secure co-actors, this is our next surprise. We um, have a video from somebody we both love and somebody who thinks that I love you way more than him. Uh, and it's Varun Dhawan. Of course. <laughs>
What's up, Nandeep? What's up, uh, Kriti? I'm sorry about sending this so late, but I was shooting the whole night and uh, this is crazy. But I didn't want to miss this, so that's why I'm here. I just want to say how uh, special this girl is to me and uh, our friendship began back when we filmed Dilwale. And uh, it was a bit of a rocky start. He's rocking the chair. But I think uh, then she saw that uh, my intentions were noble. And... Uh, we just had a fondness for each other and uh, we were friends for a bit and we were not and then we became friends and then when we became friends again, I think we've never stopped being friends and we've been pretty thick and uh, we've had a lot of fun together, we've enjoyed a lot together, we've, uh, she's been there for me a lot of times when I've been down and uh, yeah, she's just a great girl and uh, I'm so happy to see her back on top of the mountain with two back-to-back -back hits and uh, yeah. What can I say? She is my favorite. That was so sweet. That was so sweet. Oh, I'm gonna personally go and give him a hug after this. You have to go and give a hug to a lot of other people also. Wait till the end of it. Basically, I'm going back giving <laughs> hugs to people. You know, with VD, you have had a different association. He says that you guys were friends and then you weren't friends and then you became friends. What actually happened? Give us, give us, give us a detail. See, it's not like that. Uh, so, obviously, when we started shooting for Dilwale, he was a stranger to me. I take time to open up. I am an ambivert. I don't open up instantly. I'm a lot better now. अब मैं थोड़ा जल्दी खुल जाती हूँ, घुल मिल जाती हूँ, लोगों को लगता नहीं है कि मैं लोगों को लगता नहीं है मैं इंट्रोवर्ट हो सकती हूँ। So yeah, in the beginning I was more to myself. It was my second film. I didn't know anyone, you know. And he's obviously born and brought up here. He knew everybody. He had aided on my name is Khan, so he knew Shahrukh Kajol. They knew him so well. So obviously I was a little maybe quieter. And he and Varun Sharma, who both are now very, very close to me, uh, thought I was uh, very arrogant and bahut ego hai and all that. Uh, yeah, exactly my point. Uh, and then I think towards the end of the film, we kind of opened up and, you know, maybe the ice broke. Uh, yeah, I think it broke when he was unwell. Uh, we were shooting for the song Premika and he was, Varun was unwell. Um, he had fever and... Uh, I am a very, very compassionate person and That's I have this nurturing, taking care, in, inherent thing in me. Amici. And if somebody is unwell, I just become like extra nice and I'm like really taking care of them. So I was really taking care of him. And he was like, oh, wow, she's so sweet. She's sweet, actually. So uh, that's what we became friends. We became better friends during promotions. And um, uh, I think after that, there were times when me, him and uh, Varun Sharma used to like meet and chill and all. Then I feel like in, in, in this industry, somehow like people also get busy in life, you know. They get busy in their own worlds, their own films, their own projects. Sometimes it just feels really sad because, you know, you are on one film. You all are like eating together, living together, on set together, off set together. And then suddenly, poof, the film finishes and everyone's like gone. So, you know, it, it sometimes gets also a little lonely because you're, you feel like they are your constants and suddenly they're not. You know, so um, uh, that's what happened in the middle. And then I think we met at some party later and uh, we were like, yeah, listen, let's catch up. It's been a while, you know. So uh, then we met again and we've kept a constant thing of meeting and just checking up on each other. In my lows in general, during COVID, everything, like he, he was like there for me, called me up. Uh, you know, checked up on me at times. Uh, I checked up on him when he had low moments, when he was like also going through something. Uh, so I think that's what's important. Uh, it's important to be there for each other and celebrate each other's successes, but it's also important to make that call and say, are you okay? You know, and genuinely mean it. So Varun has been that one person and you know, he's that one person I know who's genuinely really, really happy uh, when he sees me su succeed. Um, I remember when I won my um, Filmfare Award for Best Actress for Mimi, uh, his mother was sitting next to me. I don't know why, I completely forgot to tell my parents the date and they were not in Mumbai, you know. So my parents were not really there. Varun's mom was next to me, Varun was next to me and he waited, you know, for my award to happen. Uh, his mother was the one who like hugged me at that point. Um, he gave me the warmest hug and he just whispered in my ears, I'm so proud of you. And that actually means friendship, you know. So he's one of my like genuine, genuine friends who's just been there for me. 
and I really, really love him. You know, um, I know that. And he was the first person I messaged when we knew that this is happening. I said that, you know, our friend we are shooting with and she would love it if you could do it. And he actually did it. And uh, I know that he m means a lot to you as a friend and you mean a lot to him as a friend. You know, it's very difficult for people who come from outside. And when I say outside, it's not about nepotism. It's not about outsider versus nepotism debate, no. When you leave your safe space, which is your home, and you start out in the new city, how many of you are actually living away from your parents? Uh, so all of you will understand the pain of staying away from your loved ones, right? How difficult was it for you? Because there was art, and there, was, there were dreams, just like Divya Rana on one side. And there was this constant battle of having to be on your own. More than that, you are an ambivert, so all the rejections and the pain you were dealing with on your own so that it doesn't fall back on your family. How did you do that? No, no, I would call my mom 10 times a day. No. I would. I'm that person. So, um, yeah, obviously, and I've been very, I've lived a very protected life before that. I've not been in hostel. Uh, you know, I've always lived at home when I was like going to school or college in my engineering years. Um, so that way I've been very like at home protected. Um, so when I moved to Mumbai, initially for the first five, six months, fortunately, my dad was also working here. And it didn't feel that bad. It was like, okay, fine. At least like someone's there. But the moment he left and suddenly I was like, okay, I, you know, I, I just hate the feeling of going back home to an empty house, you know, and, and especially when you're not so busy and you're not working that much. And, uh, you know, I, I've, I've said this before, I was also preparing for GMAT because that was the condition my parents had. Ke, uh, engineering ki hai, tumne degree le li hai, abhi year gap aa jayega, to GMAT ka entrance exam do, achha score leke aao, wo score 5 saal ke liye valid hota hai, to agar nahi bani actor, to kuch to hoga. There's always a plan B, like how Jasmine says. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh, that was my plan B, which I in my head knew I'm never gonna take. Uh, but still I had to do it for my parents because they had believed in me enough. Um, and so I was, I used to go for these classes to prepare for GMAT. I used to go give auditions. Um, you know, sometimes auditions would happen fine. Sometimes it won't happen fine. Sometimes they would happen great and then you won't get it because it went to somebody else. Um, so there were a lot of these moments. There were times when, you know, I was offered something which wasn't like so great. And, you know, there's a part of you telling you ki, Curly, you know, what if you don't get another option? Uh, but there's also another part that believes a little more, that, you know, is a little more stronger and says, no, I think you can do better. Yeah. You know, and that is the hardest time to sort of let go of something that you have and, and wait for something that you believe you, you deserve. Um, so there were a lot of these low moments, especially Mumbai can be a very, very, you know, you can get lost in the city and because lonely. everybody is just so busy in their own lives. Um, and um, yeah, I didn't have many friends. I was modeling, I had few friends in the modeling industry, but that was about it. Um, I am also a homebody, so I like being home. You know, I don't like partying too much, I'll, uh, getting ready, and I know I'm saying this, being in this profession, I get ready every second day, but I don't love it. If you ask me, I would just be in pajamas in my house, that's what I love. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was, I used to get low, there would be times where I would be like, you know, there's nothing to do suddenly. Engineering, by the way, can be like, it really consumes you. Yeah. You have like exams four times in three months. Uh, it's hectic. So, from that to now, not doing anything and sitting and waiting for auditions was just tough. And um, even when you get a first film and you shoot that film, now you've shot that film, it's gone in post-production not being from the film background, nobody really knows you. You have to wait for it to release, for people to watch it, uh, for people to judge you and see whether they would give you the second film or not. So there is a lot of waiting, you know, which, which I think just sometimes makes you feel like insecure and just makes you feel like time is passing. So yeah, there were a lot of low moments, but I think that's what makes you stronger. That's what makes you sort of proud of your journey and the successes sweet I, I taste sweeter, you know, yeah. because of the lows. But how long did you wait for your second film to come after Hero Pan? See, I shot much before, so it almost took a year, I think, yeah. for me to be back on set. Uh, but that again happened with me post Bareilly also, which is shocking. 
uh, it was shocking at that point. Um, after I shot Bareilly and I finished my shoot, Rapta was supposed to release, Bareilly was supposed to release, I had finished shooting these films. Uh, for 15 months, I didn't shoot anything. So for me, what? yeah, I didn't shoot anything for 15 months. And I was like, okay, I didn't shoot anything for 15 months because the options that I had in front of me were not that great and I was not feeling any of them. This is after Bareilly? Bareilly had not released. Okay. I had shot for shot. it. So Dilwale had released, I had shot Rapta, I had shot Bareilly, both had not released and I was just waiting for them to release. And even after it released, it took a while. I, I genuinely uh, had very few decent options in front of me and I was just getting frustrated and I was like, okay, you know, I know I've just done Bareilly. I know my potential and I know I can kill it, but I need a script, but that's not there in front of me. What do I do? And uh, then I, I remember I had few films that were offered to me out of which one felt like, okay, you know, let me, let me just do it. I need to be on a set. Let me just see how it goes and let me just do it. And uh, sometimes you just need to start the chakki and then, you know, it sort of starts rolling on its own. So, yeah. and then I started doing a lot of work. So, yeah, I was just, there was which a time one, where I, was I can't name, I can't name, but it, there was a point where I was like, okay, I just need to be on a set. But tell me something, um, that, that period, let's not call it struggle, the journey that you've had, you know, when... Um, you are just starting off and you have not debuted at all. But after delivering a few films, when you face this, you know, even Salman sir said that after Maine Pyar Kiya released for nine months, ten months, he didn't have any film offer. And it can be more taxing, right? Because you've already done a few films and it's not like um, they were not working. It's not like you were not getting noticed. D did it bother you more then? Yeah, because that's when you feel like, okay, people have seen you. And now, if you're gonna be guy up for so long, what if people forget you? You know, what if they don't remember? What if there are so many new faces com coming every now and then? What if somebody else takes over and that then it's just gone? Everything that you've done till now, was it only that much? So you have a lot of moments of self-doubt. You have a lot of moments of, you know, just feeling like, what if people don't remember me? And especially when you don't come from a film background and you don't have that one person supporting you constantly, you do feel like, you know, right now, they are slowly just getting to know my name. Yeah. If I'm not visible, you know, what if they just don't remember my name? And you attention know? span is a problem with today's times. In, because in general, yeah. I mean, that time social media was not so big. But still, it, in general, like, like you have this feeling of, you know, when you don't come from a film background, people don't know your name for a while. Yeah. Like, I was, I mean... <laughs> I was at the airport, sometimes uh, people would be like, Are Tiger Shroff ki film mein thi. You know, they would say that and, and you know, um, they would remember me as the girl who would come in the Tiger Shroff film. So for them to register that I am Kriti Sanin, uh, abhi pronunciation to khair bhooli jau, aaj tak nahi aaya kisi ko zahar. You are, you are, yeah, you are telling them Kriti, Kriti. I'm telling them Kriti, then I'm telling them Sanin, then I tell them how you say canon, that's how you say Sanin. It's like a process. So, so, so at that point I was like, uh, pronunciation koi bhi bolne abhi naam yaad ho na chahi inko pehle. Have you ever been um, spotted at an airport or by somebody and called different names, like called somebody else. Yeah, there are times when people are like, Kirti, Kirti, and I don't, like, I'm inside, like, boiling, but I'm like, haan, lo picture, yaar. Chalo, hai. <laughs> But what today, when you look back at those days where, you know, um, there was self-doubt, like you said, today with back to back, I feel you are extremely attached to your art. I remember this interview I'd done with Dinu, and when you speak about Rapta, Dinu and uh, Sushant, and he had said that after, because we had such high hopes from Rapta because of the way it was shot and it was a new concept, the second part. They said that, you know, for three days we actually just cried. And I know how attached you are to films. So when pe films like that don't work, how, what's your defense? There is no defense. You can't defend. See, the thing is that when you do a film, you give it your all. Like, I give it my 200%. And sometimes... You know, you have to just look back and see how the journey was. And the journey was so beautiful, yeah. you know, that I don't have any bad memories from it. I only have beautiful memories. And I actually believe that if that film hadn't happened, maybe I would have not performed the way I did in Bareilly. 
because i think i became a better actor during rapta i think it broke something in me um the way i was delivering my dialogues you know there was so much to do for the first time for me as an actor and i was like you know just exploring like so i think i really opened up as an actor and uh, then i sort of used all of that also in bareilly so i think every film that comes in your journey in your um, you know in your career in general is makes you grow somewhere Absolutely. you know and it makes you help so i would not change anything in my in my career graph in my journey because every film has uh, one by one by one I got did. me to where i am of course it's a fans festival so i know that fans are actually waiting to speak to you we are going to come to you twice this is the first time we are going to come to you so uh, i will um, actually segue into the second segment where we'll have fans uh, they have got, they, oh i can't tell you where all have you guys come from uh, somebody has come from calcutta if you can if you can just stand up uh, so he has come from calcutta what's your name sir wow siddharth i love the name um he's come from hyderabad dahi sir oh wow. Oh, wow you have called it at different dahi sir dahi sir idhar hi hai zyada dur nahi hai par kabhi kabhi dahi sir se idhar aane mein to utna hi time lag jata hai jitna hyderabad se aane mein lagta hai where have you come from surat oh, you have wow. come with somebody else also na from surat you guys surat. have come specially for this yes that makes me feel so special guys thank you there there were other people aurangabad aurangabad haryana divya rana from haryana asli wasipur oh wasipur oh wow. oh wow you are from shri rampur so see abhi. you know i was just telling her that i am increasing your fan base right now that's true <laughs> you know a lot of your fans are actually ones who send me a lot of love so i know that already but no when we were planning this we've already done a few episodes and let's be honest guys i'm saying it with utmost honesty and with due respect to everybody but the response on this episode was phenomenal like there were people from different corners of india messaging us and saying that we are ready to come and most of them have actually come like two three people couldn't come because one of them missed their flight it's so sad so they told me please tell her to read my dm i'm going to send you that process but yeah so we'll begin with the fans adda hello my name is nikunj hi nikunj my question to you was uh, you started off as an out- outsider right uh, now you have a production house so what was your journey like Oh wow that's a and vast one question more, one more question I don't, what would you like to advise the uh, other people who are trying to break in into the industry today yeah that question you these are two very long questions but the second one, the second one you can answer Uh, first one to kar diya hai kaisi journey rahi hai i mean obviously um it's been dream like it's been magical it's been something that maine yahan tak to shayad dream kiya bhi nahi tha you know kabhi kabhi hota hai aapne socha hi nahi hota hai kahin tak wo dheere dheere aapka ek goal hota hai pehla goal hota hai ki aapko achhi badi film mil jaye phir hota hai ki hai mujhe debut award mil jaye best actress ka phir wo mil jata hai to ek naya goal ho jata hai कि बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस का अवार्ड मिल जाए कभी सो आई थिंक वो धीरे धीरे आपका गोल भी जो है वो आपकी तरह ही आगे आगे बढ़ता रहता है सो इट्स बिन ग्रेट जर्नी सो फार एंड आई एम सो हैप्पी दैट आई फाइनली डिसाइडेड टू ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस एंड गेट इन टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ वट आई वॉन्ट अ डू वॉट एडवाइस आई वुड वॉन्ट अ गिव टू पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू मेक अ करियर हियर आई थिंक फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इज टू रियली रियली मेक श्योर दैट यू कीप ग्रोइंग एंड गेटिंग बेटर्स यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन योर सेल्फ यू नो एवरीबडी कैन ड्रीम एंड से हाँ मुझे एक्टर बनना है लेकिन सब लोग नहीं बन पाते हैं बिकॉज कई बार इट्स इट्स नॉट जस्ट बिलीविंग इन योर सेल्फ एंड ड्रीमिंग इट्स ऑल्सो द हार्ड वर्क एंड दैट्स द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सो यू हैव टू ऑलवेज यूटिलाइज द टाइम वे यू आर नॉट द स्ट्रगल पीरियड दैट वी से वे यू आर नॉट गेटिंग एन अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट यू फील Uh, there can be two ways either you can get demotivated demot- where you feel ki nahi ho raha hai you know frustrated ho jate ho aur wo negativity aapko impact karti hai or you can take that time that oh maybe god feels that i need more time to prepare you know so you use that time and you prepare and you work in yourself and you get better and um, there will be a lot of noise around you that will tell you ki ye nahi hoga yaar you know sabko nahi milta hai and nahi hota hai but you have to be realistic but along with being realistic also be ambitious believe ke hoga you know kyunki kyun nahi hoga bahut log batayenge kyun hoga koi nahi batayega khud batana 
so well said. We have your little fans also coming. What's your name? My name is Pari. How sweet. Pari? Pari, you're so cute. Come here. She's so cute. Thank you. You're looking like a Pari right now. Thank you. My question is, can I dance with you? On Teri Baato Olja Jiya. Okay, so baby, today, uh, I have a little problem in my yeah. knee. So can you dance for me? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Should, we, should we all clap for her and we <laughs> play Teri Baato Mein? You know the steps? Huh? You okay, know the steps? Song, guys. Yeah. Okay, done. So. And I want with you one photo also. 100%. She's actually injured her knee, guys, and she still come. And uh, genuinely, I have to say this out aloud that she loves dancing otherwise because we only keep dancing and no, all. No, but I yeah, other today we. I have will to try and sit and dance with you, okay? Hmm? I will sit and I'll dance with you, okay? okay. Come. Can we play the song for her? Thank you so much, Par. You are so talented. Can I get a hug? She's also uh, she's also acted in um, Merry Christmas, guys. She was uh, Katrina Kaif's daughter. Um, there is somebody who has uh, like you came from Hyderabad, if yes, I'm not mistaken, yes. right? What's your name? Like hi, ma'am. Myself Varun. So hi, Varun. I came all the way from Hyderabad just to see you, just to meet you. When my bus stopped at Andheri at three o'clock, I'm so thankful. Will I meet you or not? So I'm glad I met you. So I have a question for you. Like I forgot, so I wrote it. In this world of losing relationships, what's your idea of a true lover? What qualities should a man have to woo you? Oh. I think in this fake world, there are very few real people. So I think the first quality that I like in men and people in general, when I connect with someone, is how real you are, uh, how honest you are. Um, and uh, when we are talking about love relationships, so, some people love under love. Yes, it's love with you, but it won't show you. So, I think I like, I'm a romantic at heart. I like gestures, I like efforts, non-materialistic efforts. I like uh, someone who's romantic as well, who is, uh, you know, just out there with the love. Because I think um, there are many things that are mediocre and love should not be that. Ma'am. I have something for you, so I want to come there and give to you. Please come. I, I think he knew your answer because, see, he has gotten something. That's not materialistic. <laughs> oh. Thank oh. you. So Thank you so much, Varun. This is so sweet. So. This is so nice. So when my bus stopped at Tandiri at 3 o'clock, I'm so thankful we like get flowers or not. I ordered online. Amazing. They look very, very fresh. Thank you. I've been following since uh, one day. Not one day. Doche, yeah. I'm a Delgu guy, so I've been following you since then. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, who's, who's next? Okay, Pratik is next. Hello, ma'am. I'm Pratik from Sri Rampur. Hi. Uh, so I'm a big fan of yours, and uh, I'm admiring you since uh, Rapta. Ma'am, I have something for you. Uh, please, please stage oh, you yours. have made this? Yes, ma'am. Oh, how nice is this, guys? Look at this. Yeah, so this is an augmented reality frame. So what I've done is I have created a Snapchat filter. So whenever uh, we will scan this filter, uh, the QR code, uh, the artwork and the, all the information will be displayed over here. So I will just scan the QR code so. Dear Kriti, your journey from a talented newcomer to a celebrated star has been nothing short of inspiring. Your passion, dedication and authenticity shine through in every role you portray, captivating audiences worldwide. As a fan, I'm endlessly inspired by your grace resilience, and ability to effortlessly balance glamour with substance. Keep shining, Kriti. With love and admiration, Pratik Mane. I have a few memories from my fan page of yours that I hope you will enjoy. Oh, wow. So this was the first time I posted. So, like, I didn't have much time. That is so yeah. amazing. I was uh, informed very, I mean, like, yeah, I was having very short time to create this, uh, if, uh, miss, like, uh, the experience. So, like, I have created something randomly. If I would have get more than one or two days, like, uh, it would have been something different. And no, but for me, yeah. this is beautiful yeah. because this is one of its kind. I haven't received a gift like this before. So, thank you so much for this. Or, I will scan it back to my house and scan it back to my house. Yes, ma'am. Okay? You are going to get a lot of gifts today. I'm going to 
पोटली नहीं लेके आई हम लोग गाड़ी में रखवा देंगे हाय हाय माय नेम इज गौरांग हाय गौरांग आल्सो फर्स्ट आई रियली वांट टू कांग्रेचुलेट यू फॉर द 10 इयर्स ऑफ फिनिशिंग इन दिस इंडस्ट्री यू हैव बीन डूइंग एब्सोल्युटली अमेजिंग थैंक यू सो मच एंड माय क्वेश्चन इज 2024 हैज बीन एन एब्सोल्युटली रिमार्केबल ईयर फॉर यू मार्क्ड बाय द सक्सेस ऑफ तेरी बातों में ऐसा उलझा जी हां एंड द क्रू बोथ अचीविंग द टॉप ओपनिंग्स your roles in this films especially the climax scenes have been critically um, acclaimed solidifying your status as a top talent in the industry additionally your venture into production with dopatti highlights your multifaceted cap- capability as both as an actor as a producer my question is how was in, how was your experience as being a producer for dopatti oh my god you've given an essay before that huh <laughs> और क्वेश्चन में सोच रही थी इसमें क्वेश्चन कौन सा है हाउ इज इट बींग अ प्रोड्यूसर ऑन दोपति मिमी वॉज वन सच फिल्म दैट आई वॉज एक्सट्रीमली पैशनेट अबाउट ऑलमोस्ट ऑब्सेस्ड अबाउट एंड आई वॉन्टेड टू फाइंड समथिंग दैट यू नो आई कैन जस्ट फील दैट मच फॉर अगेन एंड देन प्रोड्यूस दैट ऑल्सो बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू एक्सपीरियंस ऑल दी अदर एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ फिल्म मेकिंग अदर दैन जस्ट बींग एन एक्टर वेदर इट इज सींग a script you know uh, start from being just a germ and an idea to go through multiple drafts of story screenplay uh, and how it changes and becomes and then comes you know uh, on the celluloid uh, becomes a film comes alive uh, to you know everything related to the film from the music to everything creatively that you can possibly do uh, dopati was one such special um, film which started with an idea you know which i felt very strongly for and i met kanika dhillan who's uh, a writer and also my co-producer in this film uh, she had some other thought and she also took what i felt and my idea and then she beautifully sort of made it into a beautiful story you know i have to give it to her hats off to her i think she's a brilliant writer who had the ability of taking some germ from somewhere something from somewhere and then make a beautiful unique story so yeah it was an amazing experience uh, i've learned a lot there's a long way to go i have to learn a lot more so hopefully many more to come also you are looking very very amazing in the crew movie killed it i watched you. it already and i loved it thank you so much thank you're you you're most welcome nice seeing you again thank you ek aur baar ja ke dekhna aaj so uh, when we speak about crew so i have um, special members or their actual cabin crews who have come um, and uh, you know one of them messaged me saying that i feel so happy because um, through the movie crew um, at least uh, there's a recognition that we have because it's sometimes such a thankless job that we often tend to forget that they're doing their jobs but they're also at the end humans so uh, there's a group of people who have come uh, if you can come a little ahead and ask your question yes if you can introduce yourself give them the mic oh wow which airline do you guys work for uh, we are working for the airisha first then we got merged with air india express now okay so it's currently i'm working for the 6 years we were based out of malaysia first then we got transferred to air in uh, india now currently we are based out of mumbai yeah. nice and we both are colleagues we both are colleagues, colleagues. Yeah. okay So I just want to ask you one question how does it feel become a cabin crew i know it's a movie and it's not realistic it's a character but how does it feel in the character it felt amazing and uh, we actually went uh, for a little bit of training because uh, i think just you know the basics of how you guys um, do your job or how you know when you're giving the safety instructions and demonstrating how it's supposed to be done how is it supposed to be spoken uh, how your hands are like that <laughs> see he has a habit of it yeah how your hands are like that uh, you know before you start demonstrating so little little things like how how aap logo ki body mein almost aa gaya it's almost like choreography right yeah, for you okay. where it's like you know exactly how to do it and it's so confident um and it's it's like a routine so as an actor obviously we're doing it for the first time but it has to feel like i've done it many times know, no, so um that was something that we learned uh, i also had to learn a little bit of uh, the the details of flying a plane 
uh, obviously I'm not flying literally in the film, but I like, I'm Divya Rana from Haryana, I like my research, I like knowing exactly what button I'm pressing and what am I doing. So uh, that was also amazing. But I do have to say that, like you said, uh, it is a bit of a uh, thankless job uh, to some extent. Yes, it is. But I will tell you, to be honest, in India, we don't get recognized that much because a passenger, they just feel like it's They're a obliged. Yeah. Right. And uh, over so, here, they don't follow the instruction as much as we tell them. Okay. We do our hundred percent to just keep them safe and secure. Do you also behave like Tabu Ma'am does? Yeah. Koi bed nahi to? <laughs> Not at all. But bed. Money man me to karte hoge ya. Money man me bahut gali aayi hogi, hai na? Tabu or Fag group. We tried because we have a patient till the extent we cannot extend that much because we are operating four four six six sectors in a day. I know the passengers they came for the two hours or three hours hardly, but we also have a patience. Because we keep calm, we keep calm, but at the of end, course, of at course. the end, it has to get blasted. When the passenger don't understand, like we tell them, it's not like on the first go, we go and sit down. So has it happened when you somehow jarred someone? It had happened. Yeah? In the morning, it had happened. Uh, I just operated a flight. I did a ranchi bag. That time it happened. We were on actually on a runway. The passenger stood up and he was taking his bag. It's not too important to take your bag. It's your safety although. We don't know. The captain might say, we are going again or something is happening. You should have done what Tabu Ma'am does. Na? Wo bhi same I wish I would have done, but I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> and then the thing is, this is a flight. This is not a bus, to be honest. Because it will, will gonna stop, will gonna deplane you, then it will gonna go ahead. But passengers don't understand. That's but, the thing. But no, but I have to say, so that's what uh, even our aim was and our director Rajesh Krishnan, he wanted uh, there is one montage song, you know, which just uh, shows basically their daily routine, you know, and what all they do. And the human side of being crew, you know, the, the side where you're taking care of someone, where you're actually uh, really, really taking care of, whether it's giving a blanket to someone, whether it's taking a child to the bathroom, whether it's, you know, some passenger who doesn't know how to take care of himself and then you have to go and, you know, explain. Um, so I hats off to you guys for what you Thank do. Thank you so much for appreciation. I think you I really, really take care of your passengers and your people over anything else. Uh, and uh, no matter what your day has been like, uh, I think you have a smile on your face and that's amazing. And then we have to carry that. That's the thing. Thank you so much for our appreciation. I hope after this movie we'll get appreciation as much as we can. Thank yeah, you so much. Definitely. I've started giving a bigger smile to the crew since I've started shooting this Thank film. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Now, um, we'll come back to you guys, but there are certain special surprises that we also have planned. So it's time, um, because I told Kriti, and I'm going back to that, that this has to be our best, best uh, chat ever. So there are a few things uh, that we have for you. So, it's called Walk Down Memory Lane. This is childhood Kriti Sanan. Bachi, uh, Kriti Sanan Hamari. So the next picture is, uh, of course, with your family. That's uncle and that's auntie. How were you as a child? I was very shy. Very, very shy. And uh, this haircut that my mom gave me, uh, it's, it was called uh, Sadhna cut at that point. <gasps> Because uh, the actress Sadhna had that haircut. And there were some uh, people in, they used to call me Japanese doll. Because of this haircut. But you look like one doll. <laughs> yeah, and uh, can you see there's a little gap here, like in the hair. So this two hair used to go toying like that, always. So I always had this gap <laughs> in the middle of the sadhna cut. But yeah, I was a very shy kid. You can see the shyness on my face. I was extremely shy. I loved dancing, but I would like hide under my mom's dupatta when somebody new would come home. I would take time to open up. So yeah. And when we speak about that, and when we speak about the most important person in your life, let's, because of course. Hi, Kriti. First of all, uh, let me congratulate you for uh, Crew's success. Uh, we are all so happy, and uh, our dinner is due. Karna hai baha dinner. Ye tu to pizza khila ke hume. Ye kal liye kya? Kal rahi thi, but uh, we'll go out and have dinner. एक चीज मुझे आ, हमेशा आ, याद आती है कि एक तो ये कि तू 
दो साल की थी जब तो तू फ़ोन को ही आए तो फ़ोन उठा के पूरी कन्वर्सेशन कर लेती थी दूसरे से पूरे सवाल का जवाब दे देती थी मतलब लोग हैरान होते थे कि शी इज़ जस्ट टू इयर्स ओल्ड तो यू वर इंटेलिजेंट फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग मुझे याद है एक बारी हम कार में जा रहे थे तो रेड uh, लाइट पे कार खड़ी थी तो uh, मुझे ऐसा लगा पीछे को जा रही है तो मैंने पापा को बोला uh, क्या कर रहे हो ब्रेक लगाओ uh, गाड़ी पीछे जा रही है तो यू वर फोर इयर्स ओल्ड में भी तो यू सेड मम्मा साथ वाली गाड़ी आगे जा रही है इसलिए आपको लग रहा है हमारी गाड़ी पीछे नहीं जा रही है <laughs> तो आई वॉज सो सरप्राइज कि इतना सा बच्चा uh, इतना दिमाग लगा लिया हाँ एक चीज़ है जिस पे थोड़ी हमारी आर्ग्यूमेंट भी होती रहती है और बट uh, मुझे ये लगता है कि तेरा नेचर जो है उसको तू चेंज नहीं कर सकती शायद इफ यू आर गेटिंग बुलीड बाय सम वन यू डोंट गिव इट बैक समटाइम्स इट इज़ नीडेड मुझे ये लगता है कि तेरे को अपने uh, में ये चेंज लाना चाहिए कि ठीक है तुमको लड़ना अच्छा नहीं लगता पर कुछ लोगों को जवाब देना बड़ा ज़रूरी हो जाता है बेटा तो ये चीज़ जो है ना मुझे थोड़ी uh, वरी होती है इस चीज़ की कि किसी ने ऐसे कर दिया या किसी ने ऐसे बोल दिया और इसे जवाब नहीं दिया फिर वो इंसान मन में घुटता रहता है वो मन में जब बोलो ना ना तो मन में बन, सोचता रहता है इंसान कि ऐसा हुआ तो समटाइम्स इट इज़ नेसेसरी टू गिव इट बैक तो बस मैं धीरे धीरे हो सकता है एक्सपीरियंस uh, सिखाएंगे तुझे अपने आप ही और इतना चेंज आया है तेरे में एक शाही बच्चा इतना कॉन्फिडेंट हो गया तो आगे भी दुनिया देख के अपने आप सीखोगे ठीक है ओके लव यू दैट सो स्वीट ओ माय गॉड दैट वाज लाइक इट वाज द टिपिकल मम्मी यू नो मम्मी जैसे बात करती है या या नो इट मीन मी आल्सो इमोशनल I had not expected. I thought it'll be a chill video. It went on to some other direction only. <laughs> But uh, do you sometimes feel because this is a constant conversation that I've had with my mother? Um, sometimes you are raised a certain way, and some part, some nature becomes a part of your core, and it's a good nature. Today, we are in an industry, whether it's in the media industry or in the film industry. unfortunately i feel that goodness more than being appreciated it's just expected and people who are good it's exploited exploited as well sometimes do you feel that because you can't change your core like your mother rightly pointed out because you're in this industry it works against you yeah i feel uh, good people are taken advantage of very easily i have this thing that i give people the benefit benefit of doubt i give them another chance i always feel like nahi yaar kuch hoga you know i always see the good in people uh, no matter how openly the other person is showing the bad side i i i always feel like there has to be a reason behind this uh, so yeah i am someone i think mai bachpan mein bhi kuch cheeze aapka core hoti hai but i also feel you are also born with certain nature everybody has a certain nature there are like my my younger sister is a lot more rebellious has always been than me you know um uh, and bachpan mein bhi aisa hota tha that if some kids would like uh, bully me or something i would just start crying and i would just come back home crying you know and that would be the thing um my mom would someone sometimes go and fight you know and and when my sister was young and she would get bullied and she would come crying my mom would send me she's like tu ja so <laughs> so it used to be like that um i've always been someone jo अगर मुझे कोई डांट दे तो मैं ऐसे रोना शुरू हो जाती हूँ um, और मुझे अगर कोई कुछ बोल रहा है तो मैं उस टाइम पर आउट ऑफ शॉक कुछ नहीं बोल पाऊंगी एंड देन आई बी लाइक शिट मैंने कुछ क्यों नहीं बोला सो आई एम दैट पर्सन एंड समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस इज व्हेन यू डोंट से एनीथिंग एंड व्हेन यू आर नाइस नाइसनेस इज टेकन एडवांटेज ऑफ इन एन इंडस्ट्री लाइक दिस और एक्चुअली इन द होल वर्ल्ड इन जनरल इन एनी इंडस्ट्री वाई वी सेंग इंडस्ट्री सो समटाइम्स पीपल फील लाइक 
अरे ठीक है ना ये कुछ नहीं बोलेगी इट्स फाइन और शी लाइक यू सेट शील अंडरस्टैंड और शी वॉन्ट से एनी थिंग एंड पीपल टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ दैट देर आर पीपल हु यू नो उनके पीठ पीछे आप बोलोगे अरे यार शी सच और ओ माई गॉड ही सो डिफिकल्ट यू नो बट बिकॉज ही इज डिफिकल्ट यू विल गिव इन यू विल बी लाइक नहीं 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 वो गुस्सा हो जाएगा कर लो कर लो कर लो सो उसका पहले खत्म कर दो उसका पहले खत्म कर दो काम यू नो इट्स ओके शील वेट शीज शीज शी वोट एनी थिंग सो दैट हैपन्स वेरी ऑफन एंड समटाइम्स लाइक शी सेट इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू टेक दैट स्टैंड एंड टू टेल समन दैट लिसन आई एम नॉट गो टेक इट यू नो इट इट I don't like that confrontation. It doesn't make me feel very comfortable. But yes, in today's world, at at some point you have to stand up for yourself. Otherwise, you're going to be taken for a ride. Uh, you know, in general, in this world, so अच्छा होना चाहिए. अच्छाई देखना भी बहुत अच्छी बात है. बहुत कम लोग देखते हैं. कहीं लोगों को तो बुराई दिखती है हर चीज में. So it is a great quality that I don't want to ever let go of. I like seeing good in people. I think there are very few people who see good in people. So sure. I never want to change that about myself. But yes, there are times when I have to make sure that I stand up for myself because if I don't then I'm devaluing me, which is not nice. You know, uh, that. the way she said ki andar hi andar ghut jaoge, you know, that happens and you regret then, you know. So um Yeah, sometimes it. There have been situations where I have taken a stand. It has been difficult, and I have taken the stand. And I've not felt good about like, you know, I don't like fighting. I don't like, you know, just like arguing with people. It's stressful. It's exhausting. I'm an actor. I love acting. But ये जो उसके आसपास का होता है कई बार वो बहुत stressful हो जाता है, which I think is in any field, in every field. Yeah. So you just have to make sure you're strong enough, and you come across strong enough. Absolutely, I have uh, a video message from Nupur. You've taken a video from my khanda, or what? Full. <laughs> <laughs> And before you show that video, I have to say yes. I will. That dinner is due. I am taking my family for dinner. I was not trying to be chindi at all. I just like being home, like I said. I like being in pajamas and having pizza at home. That's my vibe. <laughs> But yes, sometimes it's nice to just go out for a dinner and celebrate. Now you have to do that. हाय क्रिट्स हाय नयू सो कृति और मेरे बॉन्ड के बारे में तो मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल नो बट ये नयन मुझे हमेशा एक स्पॉट में डाल देता है बोल के कि कुछ नोपुर टेल मी सम चट समथिंग चटपटा कुछ ऐसा बताओ जो कभी नहीं बताया हो सो आई हैव टू थिंक हार्ड बट टू आंसर हिज क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ही आस्ट मी कृति वेदर कृति इज एज एन ओल्डर सिस्टर एज एन एल्डर सिस्टर इज लाइक हैज दादा गिरी Chila. No, never. I think she is the most sida person ever, 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 ever possible. I think I'm the more uh, like you know the daddy of the house, and I'm the rebellious person. But wo itni sidi hai, and that sometimes used to piss me off. As uh, jab hum chote the, to you know uh, your parents always tell you ki apni badi behen ko dekho, apni badi behen usko allow kia hai. इसलिए तो मैं कर रहे हैं उसको नहीं अलाउ किया था तो तुमको करेंगे तो उसको कैसा लगेगा एंड कृति को कुछ अलाउ ही नहीं किया आई I मीन mean, uh, हमारे स्कूल ट्रिप्स हो हमारे कॉलेज ट्रिप्स हो कुछ भी कोई भी ट्रिप हो ना कृति गई है किसी भी ट्रिप पे और उसकी बदौलत ना मैं गई हूँ विच यूज टू रियली पिस नी ऑफ सो दादागिरी तो बहुत दूर की बात है लाइक शी वॉज द मोस्ट सीधा पर्सन एंड एट द सेम टाइम द मोस्ट सीधा सिस्टर लाइक शी वॉज टू नाइस शी इज टू नाइस एज अ पर्सन um and not at all that dada giri factor is there mama papa uh, me and kriti and uh, i was probably 2 3 saal ki thi main and kriti 7 uh, 8 saal ki thi and uh, mama papa uh, kahin ja rahe the humko lekar and mama ko aise south ex ya kahin pe rukna tha to just quickly uh, get something okay so mama papa ne kriti ko bola ki kriti and now that kriti is 7 8 year old तो कृति को बोला कि कृति तुम यू नो नपुर का ध्यान रखना फिक्र मत करना हम थोड़ी देर में आ रहे हैं एंड कृति ने कहा ओके 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 एंड दे वेंट एंड जैसे वो लोग गए मैं धाड़े मार मार के रोना स्टार्ट हो गई 
एंड बेचारी सात साल आठ साल की बच्ची उसको कैसे पता कि छोटे से बच्चे को कैसे चुप कर आना है वो इतना पैनिक हो गई उसके पास ऑब्वियसली फ़ोन नहीं है उस एज पे एंड शी इज़ जस्ट लुकिंग आउट एंड लाइक शी इज़ पैनिकिंग इवन मोर वेन एम क्राइंग मो एंड शी ऑज अटेड हाउलिंग इन क्राइंग सो गाड़ी का सीन बैक सीट का सीन ये था कि एक सात साल का बच्चा एक दो साल के बच्चे को अपनी गोद में लेकर और दोनों रो रहे हैं धाड़े मार मार के एंड माई मम्मा एंड पापा केम एंड माई मदर द टीचर शी इज विदाउट थिंकिंग कि क्या हुआ है डांट दिया कृतिक को बेचारी सात साल की बच्ची को डांटा मम्मी ने कि तुम कैसी सी हो वो तो छोटी बच्ची है तुम तो उसको संभाल सकती हो तुम क्यों रोना तुम क्यों रोना स्टार्ट हो गई तुमने तो मुझे रिस्पॉन्सिबली बोला था कि तुम उसको संभालोगी तुम क्यों रोना स्टार्ट हो गई मतलब मम्मा सात साल की बच्ची को सुना रही थी एंड उसके बाद लाइक ना लाइक उसके बाद ऑब्वियसली मम्मा रियलाइज दैट मैक उस इट्स मम्मा फॉल्ट कि मम्मा ने कृति को ये रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दी मेरी बट uh, अब कभी भी ये एपिसोड हम सुनाते हैं तो मम्मा फील सो एम्बेरस्ड एंड सो बैड एंड कृति को ऐसे लग रहा होता है कि अब ये क्या हुआ मेरे साथ सो so, वो इतनी भोलू राम थी एंड वो बचपन से लाइक शी इज़ बिन दिस भोलू लाइक एक्सट्रीमली इनोसेंट सॉर्ट ऑफ अ पर्सन एंड बहुत ही भोली लाइक मॉम फील समटाइम्स एट शी इज सो नाइज एंड सो नाइव लिटरेली दैट समटाइम्स इट्स नॉट वेरी हेल्दी फॉर हर इन दिस इंडस्ट्री बट आई फील कि हर टाइप के लोग होते हैं एंड शी इज़ ऑल्सो इवॉल्व एज अ पर्सन एंड आई थिंक प्रॉबली दैट गुडनेस एंड दैट Uh, that niceness has taken her a long way because I think that's what's missing ना हमारे आस पास के लोगों में लाइक यू सी दैट नाइसनेस ऑन समन फेस वेन दे टॉक सो दैट्स ऑल्सो समथिंग दैट्स वेरी लाइक लाइक लवेबल माई बॉन्ड विथ क्रिट्स हैज इवॉल्व फ्रॉम हर बींग माई छोटी मम्मी विच शी समाइम स्टिल इज बट आई थिंक सम यूर्स बैक लाइक मे बी टेन यूर्स बैक शी वॉज लिटरली माई छोटी मम्मी कभी मेरी किसी से लड़ाई हो किसी ने मुझे मेरे कॉलोनी में एक लड़का था जिसने मुझे मारा एक बार ऐसे और मैं रोते हुए घर आई थी और कृति मेरा हाथ पकड़ के उसके घर चली गई थी और उसकी मम्मी ने दरवाज़ा खोला था एंड शेज आंटी आपके बेटे ने ऐसा 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 किया है उसको संभालो एंड ऑल एंड शी लिटरली फॉट फॉर मी एंड एक्सट्रीम जो मैं कह रही हूँ ना आई फील कृति का दैट डिफेंस मेकनिज्म इज स्ट्रॉगर फॉर हर फैमिली प्रॉबली दैन फॉर हर सेल्फ Which like is beautiful, but हमें as a family ऐसे लगता है कि मतलब तू अपने लिए भी उतना ही लड़ जितना तो हमारे लिए लड़ती है So she's been that दैट छोटी मम्मी एंड आई ऑलवेज सेट दिस लाइक टू हर बट आई थिंक फ्रॉम दैट छोटी मम्मी बॉन्ड वी इवॉल्व दैन नाउ वी बिकम लाइक द बेस्ट ऑफ फ्रेंड्स आई थिंक देर इज नथिंग दैट आई डोंट नो अबाउट कृति पहले आई थिंक वो मुझे कुछ भी बताने में या सीक्रेट्स कुछ शेयर करने में या एनी थिंग वो शी यूज टू बी अ लिटल दिस थिंग दैट यू नो ये छोटी है मुझसे तो ये मतलब मुझे देखा देखी इस ये ये ना सोच ले या इसके माइंड पे कुछ ऐसा ना असर पड़े या ये मुझे जज ना करे या फिर आई थिंक शी वॉज ऑल्सो लाइक प्रॉब्ली शाई ऑफ शोइंग मी हर वीकनेस बिकॉज यू नो होता है ना कि बड़ी बहन को स्ट्रॉगर फ्रंट दिखाना है but i feel that i have seen her in her most vulnerable and definitely the most beautiful space isliye i am someone who always 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 just feels that uh she just deserves the best in the world and uh she's just like it's she's a very rare combination i feel wo jitni apne kaam mein achhi hai jitni professional hai utni hi wo at home jo kriti hai जो यू नो दिल से जैसी वो है शी इज प्योर ओके यही होता है जब मैं कृति के बारे में बात करना स्टार्ट होती हूँ देन आई डोंट नो वेयर टू स्टॉप सो आई एम गो नो स्टॉप एट दिस वेरी मोमेंट जस्ट बाई जस्ट सेंग दैट मैंने क्रू दो बार देख ली है एंड आई एम सो 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 हैप्पी दैट द फिल्म टर्न डाउ द वे डेड थ्री स्ट्रॉन्ग वुमेन एंड आई एम जस्ट लाइक थ्री एक्सट्रीमली टैलेंटेड वंस सो आई लव डेट and all the best to all of you and i uh, love you kids why are they both wanting me to fight <laughs> i don't get this dono bol rahe ladti nahi hai ladti nahi but your relationship with her has also evolved over the last few years yeah yeah of course see uh, also um, last few years kya when i moved to mumbai she was really young and you know there was a 
देर वॉज अज गैप यू नो यू हैव दैट एज गैप जब ये होता है कि आपकी छोटी बहन एक्चुअली बहुत छोटी है और आप उसको ज़्यादा कुछ बोल नहीं सकते हो बता नहीं सकते हो ऐशी सैड सीक्रेट्स नहीं बोल सकते हो एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट बिकॉज यू डोंट वॉन्ट हर टू गेट अफेक्टेड और हर टू स्टार्ट फॉलोइंग डूइंग थिंग्स दैट यू आर डूइंग प्रॉब्ली एट फाइव सिक्स ईयर्स लेटर यू नो एंड वी वुड ऑल्सो वी वुड बी इन डिफरेंट सिटीज तो देर वॉज दिस टाइम वे थोड़ा सा आई थिंक गैप था हमारे बीच वी वॉन्ट दैट क्लोज एट दैट पॉइंट Uh, we were in our own different worlds uh, when she moved to mumbai uh, and we started living together and in the beginning it was just me and he her look living on our own you know for the first time i think that's when we connected that's when we started really really going stronger uh, you know our bond went really strong uh, she and then there is an age where your younger sister grows up and then you're like best friends and then it doesn't matter so we we reached that point now where she knows everything about my life but you know what now you will have the biggest surprise because when you speak about your best friends i know your mom and your sister but well let's play one of kriti's best friends video hi kriti so um i've known kriti since the first year of college that's 2007 and it's been 17 years that i've known her and she's such truly such an angel and such a humble soul i really love you kriti you know that um you know we bonded on such a simple thing in college in the first day which was just sharing the same name as each other and me kriti and ayushi like the three of us have been such good friends since then um i i remember so many amazing times that we've shared in college together whether it was like our bhan parties or our dance practices or our first um, audition for um i think the dance troupe um we danced on khadke glassy me kriti and ayushi i i remember that so clearly it was so much fun it feels like it was just yesterday um one thing about krits um is that she was such a nerd in college um i still remember like i used to be the one who used to you know finish up my exam and want to just throw the exam paper once i come out of um the exam and krits used to be the one who would want to know which questions she's answered correctly which questions she's not answered correctly and take feedback i used to run away from kriti to be honest at that time i used to be like you only do this i am going and chilling now but <laughs> jokes apart she's she's just always try to be perfect at everything and really good at everything and taken feedback so well and i think that continues even in her um um you know in her in her work in bollywood as an actor as a producer as an entrepreneur she's she's doing so well touch wood because of this attitude of hers where um um and i, I just have to say kudos to you krits for uh, being so multifaceted um it's amazing to see you grow um you are really like if i talk about emotionally and the way you were there for your friends um i have to say that you were actually the glue that bonds both um of three of us together me kriti and aishi each time she comes to delhi kriti is always the first one to message in the group and wanting to or wanting all of us to meet or whether it's meeting our babies or pampering them um she's she's always there she's such a gem uh krits thanks for being there for us and thanks for being there for me thanks for being there as a great support system i really love you and you have truly have a heart of gold and um really like veera me both love you so much We love you. Oh my God! I've not heard those words before. She just said Kriti Masi. Oh my God! I have to meet them. It's been a while. That was so so cute. I can't. I'm very impressed by you, huh? You've managed to get so many. Thanks. Am I my drop? <laughs> I thought you're really dropping. That no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Um, but when we speak about that was Kriti Baveja, if I'm not uh, wrong. Yes. Uh, one of your closest uh, friends, friends from college. Yeah. But of course, there's one more. The, you've seen it. It's right? a trio. Uh, It's like crew. Yeah. Hi, Kritsu. Uh, when Nandi asked me to make this video, I realized that in a couple of years we'd have like two decades of friendship. That is so crazy. uh right uh from college to uh you moving to bombay after that to do get into movies to us kind of getting into our own careers and 
till today like i cherish our friendship so much you're really special to me and i love you i remember we became like super close from the first day of college itself uh and i have this like super funny anecdote from college uh during our exams we used to become like inseparable we used to study on the phone for like hours on a go like we would be on the phone for like 7 8 hours and we used to go notes and chapters over the phone our parents used to wonder what is happening like what are these guys studying or what is happening in fact my now husband and then boyfriend used to wonder that like he used to get irritated that you know like i think during uh, the exams uh, she stops being my girlfriend becomes kriti's girlfriend so i don't want to change it to some moment so much i want to say it and so proud of you and so proud of all that you've accomplished i know how hard you work and how passionate you are about acting but more than anything i'm so proud of the fact that you haven't changed at all since the time you got into the movies uh, you're still the same caring sweet and chirpy kriti that you were earlier and i just want to say i'm always going to be there for you you already know this the one you think and i know i can always count on you you are my chas wasi and uh, just stay the same and always be happy i hope you gain even more success in your life i love you and i'm sorry i forgot your birthday recently या ओके सो क्रू का ट्रेलर आया था उस दिन और मैं बहुत ही हेक्टिक थी और वो ट्रेलर एक्चुअली पंद्रह को आने वाला था तो मेरे दिमाग में था हाँ पंद्रह को आ रहा है ब्लाबला ब्ला मैं सोलह को आयुषी का बर्थडे है एंड द ट्रेलर लॉन्च डेट चेंज्ड ओके सो इट वाज नाउ कमिंग आउट ऑन सिक्सटीन सो इन माई हेड इट वॉज फिफ्टीन सो आई टोटली फॉर गॉड एंड आई गट्स आई हैव सेंट हर द ट्रेलर एंड शी इज़ वेटेड फॉर हर होल बर्थडे टू एंड इन द नेक्स्ट डे शी इज़ लाइक इट वॉज माई बर्थडे इट्स ओवर नाउ but the friendship is yeah. not because she clearly gave us a video no no of course it's not guys it's a yeah. birthday but but yeah i mean that happens and i'm i'm so happy and glad that they always end up understanding you know at times where we're we're always trying to be there for each other and i always make it a point that when i go to delhi i meet these two main do din ki promotion ke liye bhi jaati hu to bhi main milti hu main this was probably the only time when i went and it was so hectic that i couldn't meet them but uh, it's nice to have friends who have remained the same with you exactly you know what they were absolutely. before and your bond has remained the same even though you don't talk every day absolutely and those are the best friendships and those are the ones that uh, will uh, last you a lifetime i always i always believe that uh, when you talk about friends you also made uh, some really strong relationships in the industry um of course varun dhawan was one of them we were supposed to play it here but okay you spoke about varun so we played it there but there's one more person who's like your brother hi kriti to kriti meri zindagi ka wo important खुशी है जो मतलब मेरी महम है मेरी बहन से भी ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट है अपनी जिंदगी में वो जिसके साथ आ, मैं अपने दुख भी शेयर करता हूँ अपने बातचीत भी करता हूँ जिसके साथ मैं सबसे ज़्यादा खाना इंजॉय करता हूँ जिसके साथ मैं सबसे ज़्यादा नाराता हूँ और वो जो मुझसे सबसे नाराज होती है वो कृति है आई थिंक मुझे आ, बहुत रिसेंटली एक रिलाइज़ हुआ कि अगर मैं जिंदगी में किसी को भी दुख दूँ मुझे इतना दुख नहीं आ अगर मैं कृति को किसी भी तरह से हर्ट करूँ या किसी भी तरह से उसको दुख हुए मेरी वजह से तो मुझे बहुत बुरा लगता है मेरी ज़िंदगी का सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट हिस्सा है जो है कृति सैनॉन जो पूरा का पूरा परिवार मेरी ज़िंदगी का बहुत बड़ा हिस्सा है और मुझे लगता है कि मेरे माँ के जाने के बाद आता है मैं किसी लोगों से फ़ोन पर बात कर सकता हूँ और अपनी चीज़ें शेयर कर सकता हूँ तो वो मेरी बहन है जो है कृति सैनॉन और जो हर प्रॉब्लम में मुझे फ़ोन करना तो वह दुनिया की इतनी अच्छी लड़की है इतनी अच्छे इंसान है जो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं दी थी वो किसी तरह का कोई आ, उसके अंदर किसी तरह की एयर नहीं है एज अ पर्सन वो सबके साथ हमेशा सपोर्ट करती है प्यार करती है और अपने सब दोस्तों के साथ सभी रिश्तेदारों के साथ भाई और बहनों के साथ बहुत प्यार से को मैनेज करती है और जैसे वो अपनी एक्टिंग हम प्रूव कर रही है वो इतनी बड़ी स्टार बन गई है और इतनी बुझी हम सबको होती है जैसे उसको हम देखते हैं और वो ऐसी लड़की है पर आप एक बात बताओ आप आजकल वैसे क्या चीज़ खा रहे हो जैसे आपकी एक्टिंग इतनी अच्छी होने लगी क्योंकि लोग इतने सारे कोर्स करने के लिए जा रहे हैं दुनिया में कहाँ का पैसा खर्च कर रहे हैं आप उनको एक डाइट बता दीजिए कि आप कौन सी ऐसी चीज़ खा रहे हैं जिससे आपकी एक्टिंग इतनी अच्छी हो रही है कि आप हर फिल्म के अंदर एक के बाद के बाद किल करते जा रहे हैं किल करते जा रहे हैं किल करते जा रहे हैं तो प्लीज़ एडवाइस कि आजकल आप क्या खा रही हैं ताकि सब लोग आप पे ऐसा दिखना शुरू करें और आप पे एक्टिंग करना शुरू करें सबका दिमाग खा रही हूँ मैं ये खा रही हूँ 
<laughs> but that coming from um, he's of course your brother he's your friend but that also uh, coming from a casting um, director of one of the best you know and he he keeps telling me and i know the bond that you guys share and um, it was very difficult for him because he lost a parent very uh, recently and you know he kept telling me i had done an interview that if there's one person from the industry who's always kept a check on me it it, it is kriti sanan and uh, he considers you i think you yeah, have yeah. that brother and sister bond um how has that evolved from being a casting director to this see even him i feel like um um i've known him for about maybe like 6 7 years um and uh, the bond has evolved you know as jitna time aap logo ke sath bitate ho jitna aap uh, koi bhi equation ho koi bhi relationship ho i feel it is always two ways and you always are supposed to also give the other person time and the importance and be there for them when they need you the most you know that's the most important thing and it's he's genuinely been there he's genuinely happy for me every time i do something good every time he sees me succeed um you know he's always been there and also he's also seen me grow as an actor because i remember when i didn't know him at all Uh, इनका ऑफिस आराम नगर में uh, था सो आई रिमेंबर दैट जब हीरो पंथी आई थी ही हैड ट्वीटेड फॉर मी यू नो एंड आई वॉज अ कम्प्लीट आउटसाइडर यू नो हैविंग माय फर्स्ट फिल्म रिलीज नोइंग दैट आई हैव बीन टू हिज यू नो हिज कास्टिंग एंड हिज वर्कशॉप एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट सो मेनी टाइम्स Uh, I've met him so many times. He's seen my auditions, and him saying something good about my performance in my debut film meant a lot. Yeah. So he's seen me from hero panti till now, and he's also someone who's extremely honest because he also knows so much about the craft that I genuinely take his feedback very seriously. So whether he's someone who's going to tell me how proud he is and how much he loved my performance, but will also the next day tell me that. ये वाला सीन ना थोड़ा और बेटर कर सकती थी यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा मुझे फेक लगा यू नो विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि आपको बहुत अच्छा बहुत अच्छा बोलने वाले काफ़ी लोग मिल जाते हैं एक पॉइंट के बाद लेकिन कोई आपको ऑनेस्टली नहीं बोलता है कि यार यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा मुझे लगा कि यू आई नो यू यू कैन डू बेटर यू नो दैट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट सो ही इज़ ऑलवेज बिन देर and uh, you know uh, the next slide it was it is one of the most special films uh, mimi can we have a round of applause uh, for kriti uh i will try not to get emotional but um, mimi was um, such a special film and you you know about it why uh because um, i have a problem seeing underprivileged uh, children like even today when i see those reels in the morning and i stay with my sister she's right there uh in the morning i just wake up and i'm crying and she doesn't even know sometimes she laughs like why do you even watch it i i feel i'm extremely sensitive to things and from the from the time i was 12 years old i've actually that it was around that time like you know you get to know things and you get to know that sushmita sen has adopted and stuff and you don't have any outwardly idea guys and i'm not lying i've always wanted to adopt you were 12 yeah yeah ma hota hai na bachcho mein ki i one day when i grow up i will adopt kids and i'm i love 12 saal ke bachcho mein nahi hota that's nahin, a big thing yeah matlab tha mere mein actually and you know initially kaisa hota hai na ki mummy papa sochte ki are 12 saal ke bachche ne bola hai itna thodi koi serious hota hai 16 saal mein bola tab bhi serious nahi laga 19 saal mein bola tab bhi serious nahi laga 24 years 30 years you know and i remember i was watching this movie with my mom in calcutta and my uh, father in calcutta um it was in the night that it released it was it released a um, few hours early and um, after watching the movie it was a fun film emotional film everything but um just my mother i asked her how did you like the movie and everything and my mother just looked at me and my father just looked at me and my mother said that you know if you really want to adopt do it sooner because i don't know how many years i'm going to be there and uh, i want to be there because no matter how much you want to be a single parent um you will need that warmth of a mother and i would rather mother your kids and i'm okay with you not getting married my brother has not gotten married so we both have not gotten married and um, it was a very difficult situation it was very emotional but i immediately texted you that you know um, i hope that there are conversations about adoption because it's and you know it is main bolne ke liye nahi bol raha hu meri i know that meri mummy ne mere papa ne jab us din bola na to mujhe bahut bura laga ki and it is so difficult the adoption rules are so difficult for single parents especially for single fathers that i don't know if i will be able if i will ever be able to like um get a child that, that's I'm 
I'm sure you will. You have to like, obviously it is difficult. Uh, it's also a big responsibility and um, you are, I'm 100% sure you're going to be a great dad. You will be a fantastic dad. I know that for sure. Uh, those rules are probably made for people who may not be, you know, and then a child being there is also very, very tricky, you know. So, but I hope that you're able to do that because I know how passionately and how dil say you want it. And, you know, when we, we do films as actors, there are some films that we're very passionate about more because of what the film says, you know. And agar, agar as an actor through a film, if I can make that one mother also think ki yaar, theek hai yaar, adopt karna hai, adopt karna chahiye, achhi baat hai. You know, that is such a big deal for us. It makes me feel so proud of the work that I have done because your mother said, let's, let's go for it. You know, so I want to give you a hug for this. Thank and you, by the way, you were not the only person who called me for this. I know. Uh, there were one, two more people who um, either had gone through it, had just adopted, or were thinking of adopting and were a little confused. Couples as well, you know, who were a little confused. And they just watched the film and they called me and they were like, you know what, we've decided to adopt. And it was such a proud feeling. <laughs> like, I think we don't realize how much cinema can do and how much cinema can actually influence. So if we, if we actually choose the right things and choose to say certain things through films which are entertaining, but, it, but they're saying something very subtly. Yeah. You know, we can really make a lot of difference. Even those few people thinking, ki adopt karu ya nahi, achha hai ki nahi hai, achha, suddenly feeling ki nahi yaar karna hai. You know, that is such a big thing. That's true. That's true. Gathering myself, but this also um, gave you a different kind of recognition. You got the national award. I remember we were at that Sketchers event that very day in the morning, or maybe a day before that, and we didn't know, and I, I have jumped in joy. And you know what you and Alia both mean to me. And it was like both of you getting that award together. Coming to that later, but what was your first reaction? What was your family's first reaction because national award just stamped everything. I think uh, I've never, you know, I always thought that when I get an award, milega, to, you know, how I used to see people on TV getting like emotional and being all crying and, you know, not being able to say their speech and all. And I was like, wow, you know, that feeling where you're feeling so happy but you're crying. You know, it's so rare. Um, I used to feel, when I got a debut award, I thought that feeling came, I didn't come. Uh, then when I, you know, got some other awards, I didn't feel that. This was the first time where I was feeling emotional because I was so happy. Uh, and that was, that's a very rare feeling. It's a beautiful feeling. Um, I was also in a meeting. Uh, I was in a narration, actually, in my house, thankfully. And uh, there was a constant Delhi number calling me and I, I don't pick up unknown calls. Uh, and I was like, this is a constant call. Aa hai? It was a landline number. And I just told my manager that, listen, I'm here, just, just take this. Uh, I told my agent to go and take the call. And he took the call and he just said, can you come outside? And I was like, okay. And it was uh, Mr. Anurag Thakur from INB Ministry um, calling me to personally congratulate. And uh, then TV was announced on TV. So TV was not coming, it was 20 minutes before, 30 minutes before, he was probably calling every, uh, you know, winner. Yeah, and just congratulating personally was very, very sweet of him. But I was like, seriously, like it was almost that moment where I was in disbelief. And uh, I just kept the phone down and I said, whoever was there in the narration, I said, sir, just give me 10 minutes. Uh, and I ran down to my parents' room. I was, I was like looking for my parents, you know. I was like, I just need to tell them that this has happened. Um, my mom was not home. Uh, my sister also I couldn't find. And my dad was just watching TV. And I was like, Pele, I was like, I have to tell everyone. Then I was like, I don't have Then I was like, I have to tell my father. So I just told him, I said, Papa, I've gotten the national award. And I just got a call. And he just, and my dad, is not 
he's expressive but he's not that expressive and he just got up from the bed and he had tears in his eyes and he was like huh and he just you know came and he hugged me and um, i kept calling my sister then she finally uh, she was working out so she finally came home and she was all sweaty and she gave me this sweaty hug uh, and uh, then my mother i called my mom was in a salon she was uh, in a wash chair like that um, and i told her mom i just got a call that i won the national award and her first reaction was prank to nahi kar raha hai koi and it's like pakka like aise to nahi kisi ne kar diya mazak kar diya hoga kisi ne i said no mom meko inv ministry se phone aaya because tv pe nahi aaya tha na so it was not announced so she was like you know maybe maybe somebody's joking around with her uh, and i was like no it's happened it's true i've just got in a call and um then i went back to the narration you know because i was like i can't keep that person waiting uh and in half an hour my mom has come in wet hair she's not even like blow dried her hair or dried her hair or anything she came in geele baal and she literally opened the door in my narration she has come dancing like this okay genuinely she came dancing like this and she came and a part of me was also like oh my god you know and uh, she came and she hugged me and um just the kind of pride that i saw in their eyes uh, you know that happy tears wo bahut kam hota hai so i think uh, it is one of those highlight moments jab aap ke aap apni apni life ki picture ka trailer dekhte ho na aur wo aapko pata hai ki wo moment hoga trailer mein ye wo moment tha fab and when we speak about women leading from the front there are two women who are leading from the front alia bhat and kriti sanan and uh, two of the biggest game changers when we talk about young women um young generation i feel that today main hak se bolta hu ki because of actors like you people are people have started taking the younger generation a lot more seriously because they know that they age has nothing to do with talent you know of course it has a lot to do with experience but nothing to do with talent and of course this picture and who said female friendships don't exist can we have the surprise kriti 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 firstly congratulations on another success uh, so soon i mean you have two successful films in theaters simultaneously that must be a great feeling um, but true testament to the queen and star and you know great personality slash actor that you are so first congratulations for the crew uh congratulations on everything that you've done uh to me i think when i when i when you know nayan asked me to make this voice known and i'm like okay what do i say and i think for your fans and for the people sitting in the audience i just want to share one moment which is such a special moment to me in my life um is when you and i were standing in line as ego beavers waiting to receive our national award and you looked at me and said i want to give you a hug and we just hugged and i felt so emotional at that time it was such a shared moment but it was a true reflection of your personality and the goodness that you have in your heart um and it's something that i really will always cherish and always remember lots of love uh keep smashing it um you're doing you know you're 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 such an inspiration for so many actors out there for so many people um and i wish you all the best lots of love always Oh sweet I have to say this one I was not expecting at all that is so beautiful and it's so nice of her to actually uh, send you this voice note because I mean Alia and I are not people who are like you know friends or like buddies or we're chatting with each other but I just feel like I think there is a lot of sense of mutual admiration and respect which I see in her eyes um and everybody feels nice when they when they hear Or, or when their fellow actors and contemporaries sort of you know appreciate their work um i have always admired her as an actor i think she's phenomenal um i think the range that alia has is you know one of the best in our country um and i think the kind of work that she's done starting at such a young age uh you know really killing it in every film and owning it every time and growing like i really really admire when people are getting better with every film and yeah. and not getting stagnant you know and she's not gotten stagnant um and more than that i think in the last few years since i've interacted with her you know starting from of course the national award time uh, and that moment that we shared um i think she also has a beautiful heart um 
I have this tendency of whenever I like someone's performance or whenever I like someone's work, you know, I have this urge of just telling that person, you know, whoever it is, you know, I just feel that people don't sometimes really pat someone else on the back. Absolutely. It doesn't happen often in any profession, I feel. Um, I think there's always a lot of, you know, competitiveness and there's a lot of like sometimes, I don't know, like envy or whatever. But we always, we always feel like, oh my God, I wish I'd done something like this. But we never say that, hey, I think you did a great job, you know, and I think that needs to happen more. And I really admire that uh, in her. And that moment was extremely special, even for me. And, you know, I think it was just so dream, like I'm getting goosebumps even right now. I was just standing in that line. Pankaj ji mere saamne the, Alia mere piche thi. Um, and I just like, you know, back hugged Pankaj ji. Obviously, same film, you know, I've had a rapper with him. Same. I've, uh, you know, had multiple films with him. He's almost been like a lucky charm. Uh, you know, I just hugged him and I said, congratulations. You know, and वो बहुत बड़ी बात थी वो विज्ञान भवन में इतने सारे लोगों के साथ होना प्रेसिडेंट मैम से अवार्ड मिलना इतना बड़ा अवार्ड मिलना कभी-कभी सिंकिंग नहीं होता है कि ये एक्चुअली हो रहा है ये सपना है तो वो वो ऐसा मोमेंट था एंड एंड देन आई जस्ट फेल्ड दिस अर्ज टू जस्ट टर्न अराउंड एंड हग हो एंड आई quite long and we both just felt so emotional and we felt like you know two girls with a lot of dreams and and just living their dream and being there in that moment and being so grateful for what they're getting um it was just that you know so it doesn't it doesn't matter whether you come from a film background or you don't yeah. you know at the end of it it is your hard work it is your talent and when it gets validated the feeling inside is the same there is no difference so I think that moment that we shared was just so beautiful um, and just so real. And I knew it. That's why I actually uh, spoke to her and she was, she, she actually sent it to me. She was gonna uh, shoot a video, but she told me that Raha is with me, so she's making a lot of noise. So can I just send an audio? And I'm like, please, she would love it. Um, you know, when we speak about milestones, this has been the biggest milestone to many more milestones um, in your life, in your career. Um, a lot of people have actually given you gifts. Um, there are, uh, we will go for the second round of fans, but we'll do it very quick, guys, uh, because she has But I'm here for them, uh -huh. firstly. I'm why I need to interact with them. Okay. I've interacted with you enough. <laughs> okay, that. Oh, Rashita, okay. Mic ni chal rakya? Hello. Hi, Hi. Kriti. Siddhant here. I've prepared something for you, so it's a monologue, it's a dialogue kind of thing, so. Oh, wow. Can you give me a cue? I'll give you a line, so you have to say that. Okay, thing. tell me. So, to kya pyare tum mujh se rush karte ho? Kya? Pyare? तो मुझसे रश्क करते हो रश्क मींस जेलेसी तो क्या प्यारे तो मुझसे रश्क करते हो रश्क मैं इस लिबास से रश्क करता हूं जो तुम्हारे खूबसूरत जिस्म को हर वक्त आंगोश में लिए रहता है मैं तुम्हारे गले के हार से रश्क करता हूं जो तुम्हारे दिल फरेब सीने के उभार को हर वक्त बोसे दिया करता है मैं इन हवा के झोंकों से रश्क करता हूँ जो तुम्हारे नागिनों के पास से निडर होकर निकलती है यहाँ तक कि तुम्हारे साय से रश्क करता हूँ जो तुम्हारे कदमों के साथ लिपटा हुआ चलता है बंदी है टक टकी सब आजमाते हैं नसीब अपना जिसे मैं देखता हूँ उसको पाता हूँ रकीब अपना जो हसरत है तो ये हसरत ना कोई हो मुकाबिल में तो मैं आँखों में रख लूँ और इन आँखों को इस दिल में क्या बात है टू गुड अरे थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू हाय कृति मैम हेलो आई लव यू आई लव यू एक्टिंग आई लव एवरी थिंग अबाउट यू सो द क्वेश्चन वॉज what does feminine feminism mean to you because you've been doing um, female led films like crew and i think the other ones also so what does feminism i've mean done to a you? lot of male led films also but uh, that's a separate thing i think film is a film i don't when i do a film i don't look at it as a female led or a male led for me it's a film uh, and that's what you guys also go to the theater and you watch uh, feminism for me is is just uh, being treated equally with equal opportunities uh, in life, having equal right to decide what your life should be for yourself, equal right to decide what you want to wear, who you want to be, when you want to marry, who you want to marry, all of it. Just 
like a normal human being, it should not have any bias in terms of gender. Uh, you should have equal right and equal opportunities in every aspect of life, and that's all that feminism means. Lovely. Genuinely. Uh, we have this little uh, boy who stays in my locality, by the way, in my society. His name is Shivan, and he was a part of crew. He was the child who yes. wanted to go to Susu. Oh! <laughs> Not the child who's got a diaper. No. <laughs> the Susu one. Who did you call Susu? Tabu. 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 बहुत स्वीट थी हाँ आपने अंदर जाके सच में सुसु किया कि नहीं हाँ सच में किया हाँ अभी तो नहीं आ रहा है नहीं आप कौन सी क्लास में हो जूनियर जूनियर यस आई लव योर हेयर कट इवन यू हैव अ गैप लाइक आई डिड you are very cute. Do you want to act with Kriti or no? Yes. Crew you like crew. acting? Yes. You like school more or you like acting more? Acting. But in school, I have come to the whole school. Okay? Pakka? Topper will become Divya Rana from Hira Rana? Topper? Let's go. Very good. Do you have any question? No. Do you have any question? I can give you someone here. Do you have a question? Before we move, we actually did a small survey with just people. And Rashita has done it for us at Galata. And here you go. Hi Kriti, welcome to Galata India's Fans Fest. We are very, very excited to host you here. But uh, if there's someone who's more excited than us, it has to be your fans. They've always loved you and appreciated all your performances. So today, let's go and find out what they love the most about their favorite Kriti Sanan. So if I ask you one thing that you love about Kriti Sanan, what would that be? I like her nose. It's so <laughs> addicted. <laughs> I think I really like her acting that she's very diverse. She can do like a role, something from Adi Purush to something very comical like what she did in Teri, Baato Mein Saul Jha Jaya. She is a really nice personality and she's really tall which is very cool. I love her acting, definitely her acting. I think she's always herself, never trying to be copy others and that is something that I like about her. I think her dancing, smile, she's very pretty. I love her eyes. I've seen her in Riyar. I think she's really pretty and very versatile. After seeing her in Mimi where she won the national award and all, it was quite nice. So yeah, she's an amazing actor, I would say. She is cute and beautiful. Every time I see her, she's like toned, having nice dresses on, hair all blown out. So I really like that about herself. A one movie that you've loved watching Kriti in? Mimi. Teri baato mein ulja jiya. Of course, it's Mimi. <laughs> Mimi, of course. Crew was amazing. And Shrab Ka. Crew, which came out was really nice. Bareilly ki barfi would be my favorite. Teri baato mein aisa ulja jiya. Teri baato mein ulja jiya. I think Mimi was a good one. Mimi. Bareilly ki barfi. I loved it. I really liked her in Bedia. One song of Kriti's that you have absolutely loved her in. I like the new one, Akhya. Akhya Gula. Yeah. I really loved her in Param Sundari. Like her moves were really, really good. Tumkeshwari, Jungle Me Kaand Ho Gaya, she was very good. All the songs that she has done, a solo performance, she has done a great job. She is the Param Sundari, so Param Sundari, for sure. Of course, Param Sundari. Recently, I have watched Teri Baato Me Urja, so I am like jamming on that song right now. One actor you have loved watching Kriti with? Karthik Aryan, Shahid Kapoor and Ayushman Kurana. Dushan Singh Rajkul, yeah. I really liked it with Ayushman. I could say Prabhas. Like, they should definitely do more movies. Like, the pair looks amazing. I think I'll go with Sushan Singh Rajput. Uh, they are the OGs. <laughs> I believe that. Sushan Singh Rajput and Karthik Aryan. I think it's Shahid only. I think Shahid Kapoor. Shahid Kapoor. I really liked her with Sushan Singh because I think the kind of chemistry they had that is unmatched so far. One actor, if I ask you, you'd want to watch Kriti with, who would that be? Siddharth Malo. I would like to see Kriti with Salman Khan, you know? Shahid Kapoor. I think Shah Rukh Khan, bro. 
also Siddharth Malhotra would be really cool to us. It would be Ranveer Singh, Shahid Kapoor. Ranveer Singh from Geet. Yeah. I think I want to see her with Vijay Varma. Hrithik Roshan Nadi, they both are doing it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, is Shah Rukh again, like unmatched chemistry. <laughs> I would say Ranveer Kapoor. We love, love you, Kriti! How sweet is this? Wow, there are like a variety of things that they like about me. That's nice. So it's not just one thing, so it's yeah, nice. Yeah, it wasn't. Okay, ma'am, what's your name? My name is Rimpal Jain. And I have made this in the morning in half an hour. How sweet is this? Thank you so much. The Maldives that was picked with the family, I have made it in the whole world. In the world, the most important thing is the family. So, thank you. And I have to create a scene with you. It's not a scene, it means dialogues. I will tell you, Moongfali. Fill the packet of Moongfali quickly. What do we do with the signal? We will send it to the signal. Superb! Please come. Please come. What's your name? Yogita. Hi, Kriti. You are so beautiful. Thank you. I forgot what to say. Thank you. You have done so many roles. So, from so many characters, who is your favorite character? Who does you narrate yourself? Oh, it's very difficult because your character is something to you. So, you have to narrate yourself from your character. So, you have to narrate yourself from your character. I have to narrate myself from my heart. Mimi is very close to my heart. And sometimes I also have a lot of fun in my mind. So these two characters are probably close to my heart. And I don't know how many of them are close to my heart. And I don't know how many of them are close to my heart. And I don't know how many of them are close to my heart. They are like girls. They have their life and their life decisions in their own hands. And they take their own hands in their own hands. And that's why I love them. Thank you. There's something that Kriti also has for you guys. And there's something that we also have for Kriti. Kriti um, has her own uh, beauty um, chain, which is called Hyphen. I love that uh, beauty brand. And uh, I've been using all of it. Um, and uh, You're glowing. Yeah, I'm glowing. A lot. My camera team member told me that the, your skin is so glowing, bro. It is looking very like shiny, shiny. What are you using? So that's what I'm using, guys. Um, but yes. Um, I want to tell you that uh, she's got special hampers. So, uh, the four fans who you want to give it to. Okay, Achha, sabse dur se kon hai? Sabse dur Hyderabad. Se... Hyderabad, sabse dur? Who are the other two? Come, Pari, you give it to your mom. Come. Because you've been using Hyphen yes. and you've been a loyal customer, this I'll give it to you. What is your name? Suhani. I was fortunate enough to meet you last on Saturday at a screening. It was my birthday. And I oh, watched, yes. I oh, my you. God. So when I saw this Google form, like, I have to come here, definitely. How sweet. Some, yeah. Did you guys watch it together only yeah, that yeah, time yeah. also? Yeah, yeah, I remember Our it. My grandmother was also there. I remember. Hi. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Your name is? Suhani. Suhani. Yeah. And hyphen is something all of us use very regularly. This is for you. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. And wish you a belated happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. much. But because Kriti has given so many gifts, there is um, a gift from my side. Uh, it's uh, from a graphic artist, Arpit Dudewal. He has made this. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. I think that picture looks better than this picture. <laughs> Arpit, bas ho gaya. He is my friend and he actually um, wanted to give it to you. He couldn't come. He, could, he doesn't stay here. So here you go, Kriti. This is from all of us at Team Galata India. And um, again... This is so nice. Thank you. Do you think this looks like Anika Bhedia? Little A lot. He, act yeah, he actually... Anika ka hairstyle change kar di, to aakho mein bhedia dikh rahe hai na, thoda bar. <laughs> hai na? Yeah. Dikh rahe hai. hai na? Yeah. Thank you, Kriti, for uh, doing this. Thank you, Kriti, for being there. Thank you for being real and authentic in this age of make-belief. Yes, um, we believe every character that you play on screen, and we know it's acting, but in real life, when you're not acting and you're yourself, uh, you actually are the voice to a lot of those men and women out there who um, want to be themselves 
and sometimes they are told that they shouldn't be themselves but you are that voice and that uh, face um, that gives them inspiration to be themselves including me and uh, I will always um, love you with all my heart and uh, every success of yours is personal every failure is personal whatever happens to you feels like it happens to one of our own and we'll all agree here thank you kriti sanand for joining us on galata india fans festival i have to say firstly thank you to all of you aap log kitni alag alag jagah se yahan par aaye ho itna time nikal ke just to interact with me and i'm really sorry ki main har insaan se nahi interact kar payi uh, i really hope ki agli baar jab hum ye kare to main aur logo ko क्वेश्चंस ले पाओ नयनदीप को कम बुलवाए हम बट यस थैंक यू नयनदीप दिस वाज डेफिनेटली द बेस्ट इंटरव्यू दैट वी हैड थैंक यू आई हैड टू से दैट आई थिंक दिस वाज जस्ट सो वॉम एंड लवली एंड जस्ट यू नो विद पीपल एंड जेन्युन पीपल जेन्युन फैंस um thank you for connecting me with them uh thank you for connecting so many people who who love me and you know to sometimes we don't communicate with each other and tell each other things that you know i may see on these videos and it is so amazing it is so amazing to uh thank you for getting all these videos and making that effort this made my day please send me all these videos that you got you know all the voice notes all the videos i have to have to thank them personally today everybody who came here um love you a lot and um, today everybody who's present here loves you a lot because there is not one person who's not organic here and you can feel it and uh, the love that galata india has for you is equally organic so and thank you for doing this GT Holidays South India's number 1 travel brand Govi a vernacular edutech brand skilling everyone everywhere